What is happening, my friends? So I just wanted to talk today about wheels. For the last few months now, I've been riding the Featherlight 3s with the undercover 60 millimeter 90A wheels. Anti-rocker. The Featherlight 3s are amazing. They're super light, but they're not as stiff and they're not as solid. Therefore, there's not as much power transfer. So when you push on the skate, you lose some of that power because the frame isn't as stiff as some other frames. For example, the Them Street Frame is very solid. It has some extra bridging in here, and it's really thick. It's like a tank of a frame. And for a plastic frame, this thing transfers a ton of your power. It is a little bit more heavy. In any event, I decided to give two new setups a try. Same UMHW 5050 wheels in the middle, 46 millimeter. I'm actually gonna try Moonshine 50 millimeter because on the outside, <laughs> I have Icon 68 millimeter wheels. These things are crazy big and they just barely fit on the them frame, large, with the 909 medium shell. When I say barely fit, I mean barely fit. This is a fast, fast wheel. So the other setup I'm trying, and I've always wanted to try this, is the Them Street Frame. This is the nice moopy green one, I love that. These are undercover 55 millimeter 92A wheels. And for how small these little guys are, man, they fly especially when you're rocking them flat on the them street frame. Solid, solid, solid setup, super fast. Well, I went to the Hive indoor skate park in New London, Connecticut. The place is awesome. The guys there are super cool. Lots of fun ramps in there. They got a mini ramp in the back. They got a huge vert wall, ledges, had a blast there. And I swapped back and forth between these two setups. First, I rode the Big Icon 68s. They were smooth and fast. I went up the vert wall and it was like, I thought I was going to soar out of there. I had to kind of like tone down my speed a little bit. And usually with 88A hardness wheels, it kind of feels soft and sluggish. <laughs> At this skate park anyways, these did not. They cruised. For being an anti-rocker setup, I was flying on this thing. I also went in their mini ramp and was doing top sides on the coping. Didn't really try that many top sides on the box they had there. It was really long, and I was definitely nervous that I was gonna wipe out the first few times trying to get used to the larger wheels, um, especially without my padded shorts. I have a very weak spot on my leg. So I had a super bad mountain biking injury a few years ago. It took three surgeries and two weeks in the hospital to get my leg somewhat back to normal. <laughs> Um, and it took over a year to heal. I have a giant, like, 18-inch scar going up and down my quad, and it kind of left my leg a little bit on the odd side. There's a very tender area in the back of the quad that if I just skim it a little bit on a box or a rail, woo, I'm, I'm hurting. The last time that I hit it, I was out for two weeks from rollerblading. Couldn't even bend it at one point. I was nervous. So, I didn't go too hardcore on the top sides on that long box. I wanna try some smaller boxes first. I wanna grind those first before I go really fast into my top sides with this setup. However, even with these smaller 46 millimeter anti-rockers, I wasn't able to lean over far enough to where these big wheels caught. I mean, I was able to slide the entire box on a couple different grinds, so not that bad for grinding. I was shocked. You could still see the seam there that usually wears on. I gotta go ride these around town a little bit, maybe wear them in just a smidge, so that way there's maybe a little more clearance <laughs> in between the wheel. I mean, that is pushing it. But I gotta say, these things flew. So then I hopped onto the flat setup, Right away I felt like these were so much more squirrely and unstable because <laughs> they're smaller wheels and it's a flat setup so all the wheels are touching so you get that swervy feel. I think because they're harder wheels too, um, they weren't as grippy at this particular park. 
However, it was fine. Once I got my speed going, I didn't notice that. Again, I was able to fly up to the top of the vert wall, grab the coping. I got some nice grinds on the box. Also, these frames are not 100% wheel bite friendly. They do a great job, but they're not like the Kaiser Fluid 5s. These don't have as much wheel bite protection as those do. However, these are 55 millimeter 92A wheels. Even when you hit them when you're grinding, you don't really get bite. You kind of just slow down, you know? For the most part, I'm, I'm getting used to them. I actually really pushed them the first time in my last little game of Blade with Chris. I love the feeling of the smaller wheels, especially when you're grinding. It just, it feels more fun. I do love the flat setup. Again, you got that nice swervy feel. It just, it's definitely a more enjoyable ride, that's for sure. These wheels are kind of square. I feel like that's not gonna wear out as fast, you know, when they're flat like that. It does make, you know, groove tricks like farves and things like that. Uh, a little more prone to wheel bite, but not bad. Still having a ton of fun on these, especially if whatever it is I'm grinding on is wax good enough. I have a blast. The reason why I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Kaiser Fluid 5s is because I found that getting that inner wheel in was super painful. Like, worse than wish frames. You had, I just had to like hammer them in. And I like playing with wheels. I like cleaning my bearings a little bit. I heard they get better over time, but I don't know. I got frustrated with them. Look at how easy it is to take a wheel out of a them frame. I'm gonna do it really quick. Okay, so I already got, boom. It's like, and you're done. It doesn't, you don't have to like force it in or anything. It just, it's like dropping a quarter in a video game. Ding! I feel like that type of precision when making even plastic parts goes a long way. I don't know, I just appreciate that. And the hardware on them street frame is just super nice. I like the one-sided Allen key thing. Yes, I know the Fluid 5s definitely have better wheel bite protection and it's probably a nicer grinding experience. I assume 58 millimeter wheels in there would be totally fine. A lot less wheel bite than these frames. Fluid 5s don't have the bridging there and I just feel like that makes a huge difference with your ride too. The power transfer is just super nice. Now, the other thing is the weight. Yes, they are much heavier than my feather lights, but I was able to do some of my wacky little hand plant things. Um, I think I even did a wall stall uh, with this setup. I hadn't really pushed myself at a skate park like that in a long time, so I, I just had a blast, man. I felt like a kid again. My dad used to drop me off at the skate park when I was young and leave me there for like eight hours. <laughs> and that's all I do all day was indoor skate park, my brain's out. The hive is really nice and it was a nasty day out. It was like raining and sleeting. It was just a bad day, so I'm glad that that place is around. I will say like if I'm jumping on ledges and stuff like that, the way I feel it for sure, but I think I can get used to it again. So I don't know, I might be back on them street frames as opposed to the feather lights. I went back over to the bigger wheels, icons, and yeah, you don't get that nice smooth carvy feel, but you feel stable on this setup. And these wheels grip like crazy. I, I guess that maybe that's because of the sharper profile, but man, I felt like I was not gonna slide out in these wheels. They have that nice plastic hub. Now you'll also see larger wheels like this with an aluminum hub or a, or a metal hub of some type. I personally don't like those metal hub wheels. Yeah, for sure, solid ride, um, very fast, except it is a nightmare getting bearings in and out of metal wheels. Um, you have to kind of oil up the bearings and then, I don't know, sometimes you have to use a little hammer and tap them in. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, these still give you that hardness in the center. It's super easy to get the bearings in and out of these wheels. Now for large wheels like this, you're going to want a bigger hub because it takes away some of the urethane that's in this wheel. I mean, that's a good chunk of urethane right there and you're gonna feel that. You're gonna lose a lot of power transfer from that hunk of urethane, even at a, a higher hardness level. You see, when you put in a plastic hub or an aluminum hub, it takes away some of that urethane and makes the wheel a lot faster. I think I got a 540. I was shocked. I really thought I would hate this size wheel, 
considering I stopped using 65 millimeter wheels because of the fact there's so much urethane on them. You know, they just felt squishy. I think one time I did a test between the Apex brand 65 millimeter 90A and the undercover 60 millimeter 90A and the undercover 60 millimeter 90A was faster and I rolled longer. I haven't tried the 60 millimeter undercover versus these. From my skate the other day at Hive, I, I can almost guarantee these are gonna be faster and they're gonna roll farther. Now the reason why I could say that's probably true is because I put 60 millimeter 90A undercover wheels on my Featherlight 3s against this flat setup and this flat setup rolled farther and felt like it was faster than the 60 millimeter 90A on the Featherlight 3s. I did a quick test at Hive, and what I did was is I just rolled into one of the ramps and didn't push, didn't turn, just went straight, and was just seeing which one would roll farther. And both, I can't believe it, both stopped at the same exact point. The flat setup, even though they're smaller wheels, I thought for sure it would carry my weight farther but because these wheels are so big and so fast, they kind of evened each other out. So as far as speed and carrying your weight, I think these are about the same. Again, same bearings, ILQ9 Pros, twin cams, whatever. These are the Icon 68 millimeter 88A wheels and their anti-rocker versus undercover 55 millimeter 92A flat. Which one do I like better? I don't know. I felt like I maybe would like grinding better on this. Not so sure about top sides yet. I love how fun a flat setup is though. Especially small wheels. They are so much fun. So I honestly can't decide per usual. I need to skate them more, but I love these two setups. Again, with this setup though, I'm waiting for some 50 millimeter Moonshine UHMW anti-rockers. These are 46 millimeter. I think having that extra couple millimeters of height will make it nicer for groove tricks. Uh, less of a chance that you'll drag your front wheel on top of the ledge or your back wheel on top of the ledge when you're doing front sides and back side thingies. Honestly, both setups, I didn't push too hard with grinds. Very, very, very fast setups. I got the ILQ9s on Amazon, and for 16 of them, I think it was a little over 50 bucks. That is a nice price when you have a flat setup. Do I recommend putting a big wheel like this on your street frame? Uh, do so at your own risk. Just know that they are going to be super, super tight. However, I'm thinking about going just to rip around town, maybe wear them down just a smidge. I hope this information might be helpful to you. Shout out to the guys at The Hive. Love your park. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you, Oak City Skate Shop, for your amazing customer service. Long's got a ton of undercover wheels at Oak City Skate Shop, and he has all the icon wheels, too. Definitely go to his shop. I got my 909s and my street frames from him. Go long at Oak City. Thanks again to Matthew for the bearing recommendation. Yeah, man, these bearings are killer, especially for the price. Love them. And laced laces. Yeah, by far my favorite laces on them skates. Got the same laces on both my setups, and I love it. And the Keikoa strap is just super nice. You don't ever have to worry about kicking your buckle open. You can keep your feet nice and close together when you land. Love it. I think that's all I have to say. All right, uh, happy rollerblading.